Alright, this is an Alpha R36 uh, range extender. It's not exactly a range extender, but well, can't find a better word for it. So it can also read the 3G uh, dongles if you plug them in, or another Alpha adapter, uh, which I'm gonna get to uh, later. But first, the uh, unboxing part. It's quite normal box, nothing special. So it opens up nicely. First there is some kind of guide. Uh, not sure what this is supposed to be. Not gonna read it right now. And that's the R36 itself. It's quite light. This is where it takes the input, either the 3G dongles or the alpha cards. Nice plastic on it. And here is the Ethernet port, power port and the antenna. Not sure what the other one is. I think it's the local area or something. I don't know at the moment. Right. What else? That's the antenna. This is for the internal network. You attach this in here and this is where it uh, shares the internet from. It takes the internet from here and shares it through the antenna. So, uh, let's see if we can find driver CD. You can uh, also download uh, some of the different firmware versions for this, so it has uh, support for different uh, alpha adapters. I have actually read about it before. But this is just for the uh, computer itself, I think. Shouldn't have any firmware on it. And that's the power adapter. I think that's all there is. Right, and to show where it takes the internet from is uh, these alpha adapters. This is NH, this is NHR, this is 2000 milliwatts, this is uh, 1000 milliwatts. And how it connects is with uh, one of these cables. Right, and this is the cable, so it connects into this card like that, and the other end goes into this one. So basically you can have this like uh, closest to the access point, like uh, outside or wherever you get it from. Antenna for this, well this antenna came with that. But you can attach any kind of antenna to it. So the internet comes through this, goes into that, and from here it shares it in your house or in your area or wherever you want. Or you can replace this with a 3G dongle, which I don't have at the moment. But at least that's how they say it should work. Right, I have connected it up and I uh, instantly noticed one bad thing I really don't like. is this uh, plug in here, that's the power plug. I mean obviously you want to keep the wires out of your way. So you will have to turn it this way but then you can't put it on the table like that. So I think this should have a straight pin that goes like this and not from the side. I really don't know what's the use of this, this is, <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. The lights didn't look really good. You can actually see the diodes in there, but I mean, who cares if it works, so uh, we'll see. I'm gonna test it out. And I just came back to it for a second to show that uh, these brackets in here, I know how well you can see in this light, but these are like the screw holes. If you put the screws on the wall, then it should sit this way, so obviously that's why this is going down and not on the back. So. They're uh, probably thinking that you're going to mount it on the wall from here, so it's going to be this way and on this case that wire is on the right way, but I don't think anyone's going to put this on their wall, so <laughs> still it's the wrong way. Right, as you can see it's connected up, and I had some problems connecting it, it looks like it didn't come with the uh, latest uh, firmware, so I had to download it from their website. And also. This adapter, uh, I don't know, it doesn't want to connect. For some reason it doesn't find any wireless stations. Even though this is the older version, this is uh, NH version. And this one is NHR version. So uh, right now I'm connected through this and it works just fine. I mean, uh, I had some uh, problems with uh, settings and stuff, but uh, I will put the stuff in the description where you can see what I have done and uh, how to set up the software and stuff so uh, 
you have the same problems then you can sort it out I haven't tried the free g uh, dongle yet it didn't seem to work on the first test but uh, maybe with the new firmware it might work so I don't know we'll see about that also it gets quite hot actually somewhere from here maybe that's why it has all this vents in here but yeah it works so uh, what can I say I just uh, put the stuff uh, on the forum in the tutorials and we'll go from there Alright, so uh, I have messed around with this uh, R36 for a while and uh, I will show you the interface. It doesn't really have uh, drivers or anything because basically it's a router so uh, everything is done uh, through the web browser. The uh, default IP is uh, this one. So we just go in here and the username and password is admin and admin, that's the default. You just log in and this is the interface for it. This is how it looks like. And basically if you like uh, want to connect, I'm having like problems uh, connecting into one of the networks but uh, I will show you how it works. So um, you can just go through the easy setup. The 3 g dongle uh, on some reason it didn't work so well. Maybe it's because of the branding, uh, I don't know. It actually did work for a while, while it was like uh, rebooting on halfway there. There was a connection, but then it stopped. But I don't have a 3G dongle uh, myself, so uh, I'm not so worried about that. But from here we uh, choose the USB wireless adapter. I am using the AWS uh, 036NHR. That's the most powerful uh, alpha adapter. So we go in here, and from here we do the site uh, survey. These are all the stations that are uh, in the range. I have the directional antenna attached at the moment, and it's pointed. Uh, well, it's pointed into my sofa actually, so uh, that's why you don't see much. But this here is my uh, friend's router. Uh, this is not connected into the internet, that's just for the internal stuff, so I'm gonna just use this as a test right now. So we select this. It should uh, automatically detect all the settings. I'm not sure about this host name in here, but these are the DNS servers. I'm using OpenDNS. You can Google this, this is uh, good to use. I always use this. Uh, I don't know why the password's so long, but. Uh, I think I s uh, spelled it uh, wrong, but that should be it. I don't know why it's choose WPA2 personal in here. I honestly don't know why it does that. It should be WPA2. I will just um, check the settings for it and see what it says in there. Um, I know I'm going to leave it as it is and see and try if it uh, does the thing. Sometimes it takes awfully long but uh, as you can see it went very fast in here. So I have already set up this but that's your uh, station uh, name what you wanted to show it as. Select the security, select the password blah blah blah. Leave this as it is and uh, click done. Uh, as I said, sometimes it takes a uh, very long time to actually save the settings. And yeah, this is like, uh, I'm gonna just skip this. And uh, you can see that uh, it's successful. So we just click OK. And there we go, it's uh, connected in here. So that's uh, all it should do. However, uh, there are some other problems I ran into, and one of them is the firmware. It didn't want to connect anywhere at all, so uh, I think it was in here, advanced management, yeah, there we go. And software version is here. I have already updated this, but uh, you may want to download the latest drivers from the alpha. I will just uh, show you where it is. Just Google for alpha networks. Just go in there. Uh, this website is a bit sluggish to be honest I don't know why just uh, always does this kind of thing 
and there we go uh, support downloads and in the keyword we put R36 and fill out this thing and hit enter right uh, this is the list of uh, firmware in here which you can download you can see that's the older version mine actually was 1.2.0.8 if I'm correct so uh, mine was from uh, 2011 or something one of the first ones but uh, you have to check which antenna you have as you can see it now also uh, supports the tube U and I don't know what this is in here honestly but yeah you have to check which adapter you have I don't have this one I don't have the H1 I have a uh, HN and wait 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 what was it uh, NH and NHR these are the ones I have as you can see in here I have this adapter and this is slash NHR which means uh, you just add the R in here these are the two adapters I have so uh, I downloaded this version and you can just choose it from here and just upload it and uh, let it do its thing it should uh, take about maybe five minutes or something and once it's done then you're ready to go just make sure it uh, in the status it says that uh, you have the firmware in here you have the latest and that's about it I'd say but yeah I'm having uh, problems connecting to one of the networks and uh, I honestly have no idea what the problem is but uh, once I figure it out I will put it in the description so uh, if you're having a similar problem then uh, you can sort it out but yeah everything else is uh, quite simple I have to say still haven't gone uh, through much but uh, I will update the information I will definitely have a post on the forum about the stuff so uh, you can read about it and post about it and well what can I say it's a nice little toy